Hey, what's up? So in this video, we're going to find a vector V with magnitude six and the same direction as this vector here. So the question again is to find a vector that has magnitude six and points in the same direction as this vector here. So the idea is we're basically going to take this vector here, right? And we're going to normalize it. So what that means is that we're going to turn it into a unit vector, okay? Once we have this as a unit vector, right? It's a vector with length one. We're gonna multiply it by six and then we'll have the answer. So if we take this one, shrink it to a tiny little vector that has length one, multiply it by six, we're done. We have a vector pointing in the same direction as this that has length six. So step one is we're going to normalize this. So turn it into a unit vector. To do that, we just divide by its magnitude. So we have to find the magnitude of this first. So the magnitude of u, okay, is equal to, it's a great marker, um, square root. So you square this one. Where the components, what a great marker, plus four squared, plus zero squared. So it'll be 36 uh, plus 16, let me write that down, ooh. 36 plus 16, uh, let's see, 10 plus six is 46, plus six is 52, square root of 52, square root of 52. I think that's four times 13, yeah. Yeah, it's four times 13. So that's square root of four, square root of 13. It's 2 square root of 13, right? Beautiful stuff. 2 square root of 13. So the magnitude of u, I'll write it again over here so you can see it, is 2 square root of 13. So now we just take our vector u here and we divide it by that, okay? So that's going to be our unit vector. So our unit vector will be negative 6 over 2 square root of 13, right? That's the first one. And then 4 over 2 square root of 13. And then zero over two square root 13. I'll write it, but it's just gonna be zero. We're gonna clean it up in a minute. So this is equal to, well, it'll be just a negative three here up top, right? So it'll be negative three over square root 13. Uh, two over square root 13, going kind of fast. It's all right though, zero. So this is a unit vector. So what we've done is we've taken this vector and we've normalized it. So like if the vector was this big, we made it had length one. If the vector was this big, we made it had length one. So we've taken the vector and we've forced it to be a vector of length one, that's called a unit vector. So because this has length one, we can multiply it by a positive number to stretch it or shrink it. It's like if we multiply this by one half, it'll have length one half. If you multiply it by 20, it'll have length 20. So all we have to do now is multiply it by six, right? So just multiply each of these components by six and that'll be our answer. That will be our, our vector V. So our vector V, just multiplying everything by six. So six times negative three is negative 18. I'm really happy with this marker. If you're wondering why I'm saying that, it's because I made a video before this and the marker was not very good. <laughs> six times two is 12. Six times zero um, is uh, zero. Zero, I just got confused. That's it, that's the answer. So I hope this video uh, has been helpful. That's it, take care.